Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to talk about reversing historical documents. What in the world am I talking about? Okay, there are several places around the point of sale where you have a historical list of documents such as receipts or receiving vouchers and a couple other things I'm going to show you and so reversing them I'm going to go over what exactly that means. Before I do that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask any question you want that I haven't covered yet or maybe bring up an error or get help with your QuickBooks Point of Sale. Other Point of Sale users would be happy to answer your questions. We have a lot of dialogue going on over there. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get all the greatest new videos coming at you all the time about QuickBooks Point of Sale. All right, so reversing historical documents. In an accounting system or a sales machine such as this, your cash, uh, cash register software, pretty much, you can't just go around deleting things because that's kind of like cooking the books. It's, it's kind of like saying, oh, that never happened. Uh, oh, we're just going to tuck some of this money over here by deleting how it came into our business. or something. I don't know. For whatever reason, there has to be a paper trail, uh, and that's just how the, the software is programmed, and so instead of going around deleting things, you have to actually reverse them. What is a reverse? When you take a receipt or a receiving voucher, which is pretty much saying you're, you're gaining assets and it's costing you cost of goods, uh, when you reverse these things, it's going to create a document that does the exact opposite of what the original document did. So, for example, uh, let me find a receipt here. All right, so here is a receipt with Jenna Jenkins for cash for two items, a fuzzy nightgown and a dozen roses. So let's say we screwed up on this or she changed her mind, in which case we probably do a return anyway. Uh, we want to reverse this receipt. We want to undo it. We can't delete it. We got to undo it. So to reverse this receipt, we go into the history here. We highlight it. And then we are going to hit the reverse button. And what you're going to see is it added it to the very bottom here but it actually automatically created a return receipt. And so the cash change, it says, is 90.59. It's not actually cash. You're, you're not usually going to do this if, if the situation is actually a return. But in order for the books to look right, since it, it believes we took in 90.59 in cash, it, it's going to say, no, we didn't. It's going to say the cash went back out of 90.59. Now we're at zero. And so this return receipt is actually going to populate the quantities back into inventory. And so what you get, I'm going to see if I can reorder this real quick by date. All right, so here is our return. And if we go to the original receipt, which was this one right here for 90.59, and look at the details, we will see down here it says it has been reversed. So the original receipt says, hey, we it's been reversed. And then the new document that got recorded is a document that records the exact opposite of what the original one recorded. Okay, so does that make sense? So any historical area here, you can go to receiving history, you can choose a, re a completed receiving voucher, and you can actually reverse that, and it will undo bringing the quantities into inventory and charging the cost of goods account, etc. cetera. Uh, so those are the two main history places on the home screen there. One other one I wanna uh, point out is that in the inventory menu, you can do quantity adjustments. And so if you go to the quantity adjustment history, which is kind of hidden here, and you look at past quantity adjustments, let me look for all time. Uh, any of these quantity adjustments that happened, I can also undo. 
a lot of time it'll just be a quantity adjustment memo that you might want to undo or you can actually undo your physical inventory count in there as well and so generally this is how you reverse these different historical documents in QuickBooks point of sale and I hope that helped you gain a better understanding of what a reversal is as opposed to what what we might be used to in most programs saying you can just delete things well you can't here you got to reverse them so if you have a comment or question about that or something wasn't clear go ahead and leave that in the comments down below if this was helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button otherwise my name's Peter with BlackRock Business and I hope you have a stupendous day